So I finally got the chance to check out the um, G Herbo feature Enjoy Badass record, Lord Knows. And it's a good record. It's nothing wrong with it. You know, you definitely can tell it's more Herb influence. You know what I mean? Because I heard Joy Badass like, damn, he don't even sound like himself. You know what I mean? Like he switched up his tone and, you know, his sound to fit the record. So it's cool. You know what I mean? And that's what I think is good about music to where you wouldn't want a little Herb track to sound like a Joy Badass record. So Herb bought Joy Badass into his world. And I thought that was dope. You know what I'm saying? It's just basically saying I came up by myself. You feel me? And at the same time, I don't owe a nigga shit. You know what I mean? That's what I got from the record. You know what I mean? I definitely like the um, production. I definitely like the chorus. You know what I mean? Like, because everybody got problems. The only problems that, you know, people don't see, you know, God see. You know what I mean? And at the end of the day, it's like, shit, who ain't never been there? You know what I mean? You do a lot of things and you may come from nothing, make yourself turn into something, and then everybody got their fucking hand out. But it's like, nigga, I don't owe you shit. You know what I mean? You wasn't here when a nigga was, you know, you know what I mean? So at the end of the day, it's like, it's a cool record. I don't know if it was a record that the label that they both signed to forced together, because it, it, it seems like it's not really no chemistry there. It's just that Joey Badass seemed like he's a, you know, a great artist and can you know, not replicate another person's style, but, you know, he contributed to it, and, you know, it works, I guess, you know, it depends on if you're a fan of either or, you know, you may have people that are fans of Herb to say, oh, Joy shouldn't have got on that record, you may have fans of Joy to say shit, you know what I mean, vice versa, so at the end of the day, it's just something in the works, and I think it's cool, the more they kick it, and the more they stay in the studio, you know, I think the chemistry of build. But I definitely don't feel like you should force two artists that don't probably even listen to each other's music because they in two totally different lanes. Like, let's not get that fucked up. You know, Joy Badass more of the conscious backpack, you know, lyrical type of dude. And we already know, you know, Herb is a drill rapper, period. You know what I mean? It's, you know, street-orientated content, violence, guns, drugs, shit like that. So to mix those two worlds... And you get a record like this, it's not bad, but you definitely can tell that if you're a fan of either or, it's like, it's definitely just a song to where you just feel like, her could have did it by itself, he didn't really need the Joy Badass, you know, feature, because it just seems like, you know, Joy Badass, to me, in my opinion, not hating, he didn't really fit the record, you know, I'm, I'm used to him, more of a 90s sound, you know, and the boom bap type sound music, where it's like, soul for what's connecting but i mean it's cool to experiment with music but don't step too far out of your lane because you kind of can lose your fan base at the end of the day but i mean it's cool you know i think it's a relatable song if anybody ever been through shit you know what i mean you ever came up from nothing you know you went from having a dollar in your pocket to having you know a hundred thousand dollars in your pocket or you know a hundred dollars in your pocket it's just the whole fact that everybody go through problems you know that's the moral of it but motherfuckers can't see the problems. They can only see, like, you shining and they got their hand out. And it's like, nigga, you don't know what the fuck I did to get here to where I'm at. Nigga, I got my own shit to deal with, basically. That's what I got from the record. But no hate to either side. You know, I definitely figured, you know, eventually that they signed to the same label. I think I said it in one of my videos. Not saying I predicted it, but I did say eventually we may see a, you know, Herb and Joy Badass collaboration. But on the flip side to that, I want to see if Herb can get on something that Joy Badass got. Like, you know, the, the 90s sounding boom bap type sound shit. Like, to see what he can do with that. To see if he's versatile. Because I think in music, man, you got to always be versatile. You can't just stay one way forever because that sound or that style will eventually get old. You know what I mean? That's what makes people like Kanye West a genius. Because every time he came out with an album, he reinvented himself. That's all about being new and being fresh. And if you come out the same way every single time, people get tired of that shit. You know what I'm saying? But it's a good record for the effort of these two coming to, you know, different worlds and coming, colliding together to bring the fans of their separate fan base a song. And to me, it's not bad. You know what I mean? It's pretty cool. But what do y'all think about it? I definitely love the artwork. I definitely think that's dope. But let me know. One.